And what do you think the future is like for dermatology then? I think it's bright. I think it's bright. I think there are many diseases that we start to understand better. You know, if you look at some of the diseases that have been neglected for decades, for many, it's a disease called hydrolinitis suppurativa, which is a very severe form of acne in your, you know, axilla region and so on. Patients really, really suffer. There's a huge effort now on bringing modern breakthrough therapies to this area. This has been neglected for many, many years. So I think we're starting to understand these diseases better and put the effort behind it. Yeah. It's reminded me of a point that Brian Kim said on a previous podcast. He said that when he first started in dermatology, when he was specialized or focusing on the topic yeah. of dermatitis, yeah. he was laughed at and told, you yeah. won't make any money, there'll be yeah. no impact, you won't yeah. really help people. Yeah. And then... Um, and fast forward, you know, however many years, it's the main indication within Derm that everyone's focusing on. Yeah. So it's just fascinating to see how things can evolve and Abs opinions can develop. Absolutely. And, and I think I think once a field gets traction, it gets focus, you know, look, in, in dermatology, we're only scratching the surface. So you may have <clears throat> eight, ten larger indications that the industry is focusing on yeah. at the moment. But then you have over 600 rare diseases. Yeah. So if you pull that, patient number together is a significant number of people out there today that are completely underserved. Yeah? So the opportunity conversely for research, for developing medicines, products, innovative approaches is enormous, enormous.